again y'all know what y'all are here for the track that you have been anticipating that we have been anticipating here on the channel is finally here we got end of the world in quotation marks by tom mcdonald featuring john rich now i'm excited for this track for two reasons one, I just discovered Tom about a month and a half ago, and we have been reacting to him on the channel sporadically for about a month and a half now. Uh, not going to lie, we've had some mixed reviews. One of the biggest ones is my critique on his courses, and I know we've had some disputes in the comments section. But the second reason why I'm really excited for this Tom track is because this is the first time that I'm going to get to see in real time Tom come out with a real track. I'm going to see him roll out a track. I'm going to get to experience that with you all, with the Hangover Gang for the very first time, and I'm super excited. There is no preference here. There is nobody telling me what to expect. This is brand new Tom for me, and I'm super excited. Now, we know Tom to be extremely daring. We know him to be extremely controversial, End of the world just kind of speaks out to me as another one of those tracks. I feel like he's going to be talking about uh, maybe current issues that maybe point towards the end of the world in, in his eyes and his lens. But with that being said, I don't want to hold you too much longer. Hangover gang, if you're new to the channel, consider joining the tribe. That's what we call ourselves over here by hitting subscribe, drop a like and a comment down below and how you feel about this track. Also, there's a bunch of links in the description if you want to further join the tribe. Highly recommend Discord. We're always joking around in the Discord. We're also anticipating new music and talking about new videos that should meet the channel. Also, Twitch, we do a lot of these reactions live. That's another one in the description that you're going to want to tap into. With all that being said, let's get to the reaction. I know the end is near the television telling lies. I know for sure the revolution won't be televised. I know that we... Right off the rip, did not expect this type of production at all. This sounds like a little Western, but kind of like a jolly Western, like a, I don't know, a parody Western movie is kind of the feel off of it. Now, I do want to note that I don't know who John Rich is. I've never heard of the man. Uh, maybe... Maybe he's a country singer. I don't know. Just based off of what we just got into... Just, just sounds different than what Tom has done. Tom has done rapping. He's done the pop with the with the track Ghost, which is the first track that I've listened to. And now we're getting this. We're getting some uh, Lil Nas X type beat. I know some of y'all aren't going to like that that I uh, compared those two, but let's continue. I know the end is near the television telling lies. I know for sure the revolution won't be televised. I know that we've been waiting patiently for better times. We fell asleep and men are blind, can't recognize this genocide. Feel like the bomb about to drop out of the clouds. Another virus going airborne, go hide inside your house. Farmers watching crops die, they drying up with droughts. Angry people forming crowds and trying to burn the cities down. Oh, so we're getting with the visuals. The old guy is watching this screen, right? And Tom's trying to get his intention like, hey, you're getting brainwashed here. You know, that's not... What they're showing on television or on the media is not what they really want, or it's not the truth, right? They're just trying to distract you. He's talking about the UFOs that have been reported recently. It's not on the news, but we're seeing it on media. We're seeing it get leaked. Uh, he also brings up the virus, COVID-19, that that could possibly, I, I think there was rumors that that was actually leaked from a lab. Um, he's talking about how, you know, what if another one comes in or all these things that has really been kept secret. We really don't know the actual truth at the end of the day. And uh, he's basically saying, we're getting a bunch of smoking mirrors thrown at us. So anyways, let's get back to it. Side, feel like the bomb about to drop out of the clouds. Another virus going airborne, go hide inside your house. Farmers watching crops die, they drying up with droughts. Angry people forming crowds and trying to burn the cities down. This is Armageddon, martial law for our protection. I talked to God, but it's long distance and I lost reception. Is that John? fires and oil spills are the awful lessons. I'm just waiting for the devil to take over heaven. This is biblical, I swear it's in the Bible. We so he's saying, he's basically talking about all the signs that have uh, that are in the bible that are coming to life right uh now he's saying i'm just waiting for the devil to, to try to conquer heaven again and then that's it we're done right um and that is by the way for for the bible thumpers out there that's uh that's figuratively speaking right that's like us like moving away from the bible and us trying to us humans becoming unheavenly and trying to conquer heaven by the way, I don't know if you knew that, but 
Let's continue. I'm gonna go back. I talked to God, but it's long distance and I lost reception. Forest fires and oil spills are the awful lessons. I'm just waiting for the devil to take over heaven. This is biblical, I swear it's in the Bible. We keep killing one another and we dying for survival. We used to fight for peace, we put our flowers in their rifles. Now we're about to be extinct, every man, woman, and child. First of all, I'm so glad he got somebody else for the chorus <laughs> because the Tom choruses weren't hitting with me, as you all know, that have been here uh, for the Tom reactions. Uh, his vocals are great. Uh, there's just a very big contrast in the two. It's not terrible, uh, but it's it's a completely different change. And that is something that I've critiqued Tom on doing, that his choruses and his uh, verses sound completely different, like a completely different song. It should belong in a different song. Uh, as opposed to this one, though, that's still the case. This one just sounds a little bit better. The vocals are hitting. Uh, he's on pitch throughout the whole chorus so far. But let's continue. If it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest. That's yeah, good. The No way Nova worked on this, right? There's no way, bro. Or alone, I should say. Because if Nova's doing this on her own, crazy, bro. I I just think it's kind of weird he's in the clouds, though. I don't know if that kind of ties into, you know, the end of the world. Him kind of, like, just faded. I don't know. Mountains, we've been to space before. We had our dogs and houses. We dug up. Oh my god! I'm not gonna lie. Was that a chorus? It it almost sounded like a verse, like a chorus through a verse. Um, but I like what he was saying, right? He's like dug up. We we did a bunch, right? We dug up our our dogs, or right? we buried our dogs. We also dug up dinosaurs. Uh, the sky's falling, referencing the you know the UFOs. Or I don't. Is that a direct reference to Chicken Little? Every time I hear that, I think Chicken Little. I could be totally wrong. But he's like, at the end of the day, what did we do it for, right? As long, I, and I think of the essence of that that part right there is live your life to the fullest because you don't want to end up at the end of your life or the end of the world and be like, did I really live out my full potential? John went in a bit there. Items disappearing. Uh, people playing God, call it genetic engineering. Uh, the media misleading us and evils interfering. While the government we need became the power that we're fearing. Our billionaires are going to space. Don't blame them for leaving. Birds are falling out the air. Fish washing up on our beaches. This is end times. Humans got a deadline. Children were the future till we ruin them with headlines. Should we pass a bedtime? But everyone's woke. They told us chase a dollar that made everyone broke. I feel like cryptocurrency oh. is probably our last financial hope. Soon enough, the government will leave your bank account froze. Judgment Day is really so he's an advocate for um, all the the Bitcoin, all the um, Internet money. I'm I'm a skeptic at heart. So like with the whole Bitcoin, the Dogecoin, I I don't even want to mess with it. And maybe that's just me being ignorant. But Tom is ad obviously an advocate for it. He's saying, you know, that's the way we should be going, because at the end of the day, these banks are just, you know, it's government based and they can take our money whenever we want. So I don't know. I mean, that's just one of the things that I'm just not informed in. I'm ignorant to. So he might know a lot more than I do. So let's continue. Come and you can run or you can stand and fight. Panic in the dark or lead rebellions by the candlelight. This ain't your granddaddy's planet Earth. It's black and white. The end is coming. I'll see y'all in the afterlife. The end of the world, I will do better Got John next time. again. I know, yeah, it. I know it. If it's the end of hey, the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest. <laughs> is that a play on inflation? That is probably a play on inflation. Ma aluminum foil at five hundred dollars, tripping, bro. That's it's getting kind of crazy though. I'm not gonna lie, groceries were. I would I would take a trip to the grocery store. Two hundred dollars. Now I'm like almost at four hundred dollars. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, the fullest. We stood on top of mountains. We've been to space before. We had our dogs and houses. We dug up dinosaurs. We built those bombs are dropping. We 
That's got to be the thumbnail right there. Let me give a smile for the thumbnail. That's got to be the thumbnail right there, bro. That's such a beautiful picture frame. Oh, come on. <laughs> we look down. He's taking out the UFOs with some rocks. That's crazy. That's wild. Our phones, they'll drop a bomb from a drone and an explosion. We should have known it. Am I going to lie? Tom looks kind of fly here, bro. He looks dope with the shoes, though. Mmm, the kicks are clean. I'm not gonna lie. We stood on top of mountains. We've been to space before. We had our dogs in houses. We dug up dinosaurs. We built those bombs are dropping. We fought in all their wars. Now that the sky's falling, what did we do? Okay, so Nova had some help from Jared Potter, who actually helped him with the iRobot um, video. I forgot which one. Uh, is that? No, it's not Brainwash. No, it's a different one. It's a different video where he helped her. So he does. I noticed. So whenever Jared comes in, it's a lot more cinematic as far as. Well, I should say it's a lot more CGI involved right a lot more green screen going on so i think jared that might be his niche a lot of more cgi work dope pretty cool nova's obviously gonna play a hand in there because she does their you know almost everything tom related she's incredible well there we have it tom mcdonald end of the world featuring john rich i thought that was a fun track i thought that was pretty cool uh, now I did see him post on social media. It might've been on YouTube, but on YouTube short saying that, uh, this was going to be his best video ever, uh, slash track. And, uh, although I don't completely agree with that, I think that he has some, some better tracks. I do think that it was a lot more experimental for him. And for a lot of artists that can seem like their favorite track because it can be something that they've always wanted to do. Like Tom could have always wanted to do something country. And so, you know, this might be, you know, kind of like that gateway to that country sound that he's maybe wanted to experiment with. Um, I like it. it. It's dope, but I don't think it's his best track, you know, out of all his discography. Let me know if y'all agree with me there. Uh, it's a fun track. I also think that, uh, well, the essence of the track, End of the World, he's basically giving us signs in the video and the track itself that the end is coming. Now, that is another one of those controversial things that might spark a conversation uh, to the masses, the ones listening. And that's a, you know, that's what Tom does. That's what he does best. He's he's gonna start the conversations. And uh, this is just another one of those Tom esque tracks. Uh, let me know what y'all feel about it in the comments below. Once again, if you're new to the channel and you appreciated the video, you got something from the video. Join the tribe by hitting subscribe, drop a like, and a comment down below. And we'll catch you on tomorrow's video. We upload every single day. Peace.